the devil, the most evil creature alive, and rumored to even have the power to fight God himself. The devil is truly something to be feared, and that's why I'm gonna become the devil in Minecraft for the next 100 days. And to make things fun, my two friends have been blessed and turned into angels, and now their mission is to try and stop me from getting until day 100 and becoming the strongest devil possible. Oh, look at me, I'm a tiny little devil thing. I even have a little tail that wags. Okay, so obviously we're in the nether. We gotta get out of here quick because there are two angels that are hunting me down and I'd rather avoid them if I can. Okay, oh God, Never mind. they're here. There's a little imp. It's the <laughs> imp. Yeah, let's kill him, kill him. Okay, I just have to get away from them, which isn't hard because luckily as an imp, I have a double jump ability and I can just get around them with my wings and jump in their portal. Okay, now before they get through that portal, let me grab some wood real quick. Okay, there's three logs. That should definitely be enough. Oh, God, they're coming through. That is all we're gonna have time for. I think you're sneaky, huh? He's getting away. Okay, let's use our flap to get up in a tree somewhere. Bruh. Okay, I, that did not work. In fact, I took fall damage. Oh, I have an idea. We can use this tree to get over to this tree. Get up here. Quickly put it down. Down here. Do I have time to get this? Nope, and we're out of here. There's a dolphin. We can get dolphins, Grace. Dolphin, please. Dolphin, please. Yes. Thank you, dolphin. Yes. <laughs> See you later. No. Okay, we officially escaped the angels, which means now we can actually start working on becoming a more upgraded devil. Now, before we do anything, I want to unlock an upgrade. Specifically, I want to get my hot pitchfork, which is a combat upgrade. Now, to get it, I need to kill 15 drowned, equip some iron armor, and kill a player, which honestly doesn't sound that bad. Ow! Die, berry bushes. So for now, we use this village as a temporary home. So let's start by starting the quest and going ahead and getting the iron armor equipped, because that's really easy to do. So first things first, let's grab some more wood, and now let's make some basic tools and a stone pick. Now let's go to a cave and start mining for 24 iron so we have enough for all the armor. Okay, here's a water cave. Let's go down here. There's some magma so we can luckily breathe. And let's see if this leads anywhere. Okay, this definitely looks like a spot I can mine through. Okay, perfect. We found our way into a cave. Now let's just go ahead and start getting some iron. Okay, that's all the iron we're gonna need. Let's go up and get it smelted and we'll already have the first power finished. Okay, let's pick a house that we can use for the night. I'm gonna pick this one here and I'm gonna start by making a furnace. Now we're gonna go ahead and start smelting this iron. Okay, now I've stolen a bunch of food stuff from the villagers. I think we'll be good for the night. And I think it's pretty fitting. A devil would definitely steal from some villagers. Okay, we can already equip the helmet and the chest plate. Boots complete. And there's the last piece of armor. Perfect. Good night. Okay, hello, it's day two. And we already got full iron armor and a shield, which is perfect because we have to go kill the 15 drown to finish up this quest. So let's go get ourselves 15 drown. Speaking of, have you ever wondered what Minecraft 2.0 is gonna be like? Because I bet it's gonna be a game based in the metaverse. Just like today's sponsor, The Sandbox. You can download the game for free using the link below in the description box. I'm also giving away $10 in mine coins to three random people. The Sandbox has over 300,000 players and over 200 of some of your favorite brand partnerships, including Snoop Dogg, Steve Aoki, The Walking Dead, Adidas, Tony Hawk, Dead Mouse, with many, many more on the way, and over 90 experiences to play right now. Now, the Sandbox Alpha Season 3 starts on August 24th, and it's only going to last until November 2nd. In all, there will be 98 experiences for you to play. My favorite experience is The Walking Dead because you can work with Carl to rebuild Alexandria, interact with Negan himself, and even look for food with Michonne and fight zombies. And playing these experiences can win you up to 1,000 sand. You can also earn other rewards through different community challenges and contests. Now here's the thing. I've actually been saving the best part of this for last. And that is you don't even need to pay to play in the alpha. Playing the sandbox is 100% free. So how can you win the $10 in mine coins? Go ahead and download the game using my link below on your PC or Mac. Get to level two in the game by completing quests. And then when you're in the alpha lobby, find either Snoop Dogg, Steve Aoki, or Rick Grimes. Take a screenshot with them and tag me and the celebrity in that screenshot on Twitter. I'll choose three random people at the end of the month to win. But you're gonna wanna sign up fast because only 10,000 alpha passes are gonna be given out. So don't miss this perfect opportunity. Just go ahead and sign up by clicking that link in the description down below. Okay, let's hop back in our boat. And now let's go find an ocean biome and start killing drowned. Okay, I see it drowned right down here and it looks like there is, yeah, there's an underwater monument here. So let's start killing some drowned. Okay, well, it looks like that's all the drowned are gonna be here. So we gotta go find another one. So let's move on. Okay, I think I found another one. Yep, I found another underwater structure. Oh, they're all in here. Hello. Owie. Okay, now let's go back to our boat. And now let's go find yet another underwater monument. Okay, I see more magma, which usually means, yes, literally, we got another one. Oh, I don't see any drown this time, though. Oh my god, did he throw a trident at me? Oh, that one is a trident. We gotta be careful. Oh, that does a lot. Stop. 
There we go. I killed the one with the trident, but he unfortunately didn't drop it. So I don't get it. And we still need five more kills. So let's keep looking because the sun's probably going to be setting in the next three to four minutes. Okay, I think I see two monuments up ahead. I see some magma up there and there's some magma right below me. Okay, there's definitely some drowned here. One down. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. 15 to 15 drowned killed. There's still one more left behind me, but I'm just gonna go get the treasure and leave. Okay, now that that's complete, let's go ahead and go home and go to sleep. Okay, hello, it's A3. Now we just need to go ahead and get one player kill done. We'll be all set to go. And to do that, I basically just gotta go to where they live, get a sneak attack, kill one, and get the heck out of there. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's hopefully get a kill on one of them. Otherwise, we're probably dead already. Okay, they are definitely at the spawn island. Not only can I see their names up there, but there are torches everywhere. So now let's just go ahead and kill the angels who are definitely just up ahead in this box. We just need to sneak attack one of them. Get the one inside. Uh oh, come on. I'm shielding. Come on, we got him. Fighting at five is so hard. I juked him, dude. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were him. I thought you were him. I'm sorry. He killed his own teammate. So I can't get the kill. There we go. We got the kill. Okay, let's put down the boat. Let's just get out of here. Go. Got the kill. Quest complete. After getting the first upgrade, it was finally time to start on my first base, the Devil's Pit. Okay, and our base is complete. Let me show it to you. This is the base area where we got chests, blast furnaces, furnaces, smokers, crafting tables, beds, you name it. This is where I'm gonna do most of my work. And then besides that, I really just built these giant walls of cobblestone and glass. And the reason I did it is because down below, I actually trapped an underwater nether portal and converted it into an on-land one. So that's my nether portal. Overall, this base isn't really functional as much as it really is just kind of cool and but the best part is it gives me plenty of room to grow meaning there's areas for enchanting tables traps and i don't know anything else that the devil might want but now it's time to start working on our second upgrade and we're gonna work on greedy gaze which requires five emeralds five diamonds 10 iron ingots 10 gold ingots 32 redstone dust 32 lapis lazuli and 32 coal oh that was a long thing to say but yeah if we mine all that we basically get the second upgrade so let's get mining Okay, we've got everything mined up and smelted, which means we officially have everything for the upgrade except for coal. And that's because the coal's in the furnace. Let's grab this. That should be enough. And there we go. We can now unlock Greedy Gaze, our second ability, which is going to immediately give us two compasses. Now, first, you're going to notice the entity compass that kind of looks like a little devil. This compass is going to let me track anything. Creepers, wardens, and even the angels. And then my other one is the ore compass, which is going to let me track any ores through walls. Diamonds, iron, you name it, it's mine. Now, as you can see, the sun's already starting to set. So we're going to go ahead, go to sleep, wake up tomorrow, and then we can work on getting more hearts by going from an imp and becoming a fiend. Okay, so to become a fiend, we need 32 magma blocks, 32 gold ingots, and three diamonds. The magma is definitely going to be the easiest though. So let's go ahead and head to the nether and let's gather up 32 magma and then we can start looking for a bastion for gold. So let's go through the nether portal. Now let's go ahead and build down to that magma down there. Perfect. And there's some magma right below. So let's start mining. Okay, we officially have 33 magma. Now let's go ahead and start looking for a bastion so we can go ahead and get that gold nice and easy. Okay, there we go. We found a bastion and let's go ahead and just collect the gold that we need. Okay, let's quickly collect this gold block on the bridge. And now let's go over here and get this gold block on the other side of the bridge. Now let's go in this side of the bastion and see if there's any gold blocks in the center. There is definitely gold blocks down there. Okay, let's go ahead and let's grab all these gold blocks. There we go. We've officially mined up all the blocks. Now let's go ahead and just see what's in the chest. Oh, that's so good. Four more gold blocks, two ancient debris, and magma green. That was OP. Go away. Anyway, that is definitely enough gold. Let's skedaddle. Back through the portal. And we're home. So let's get going to bed and we can do the upgrade later. Okay, day 12. All we need left is some diamonds and then we can go from an imp to a fiend. So let's quickly go grab those and let's do the upgrade. Now using the ore compass, I can actually track diamonds. So I've selected diamond. Now if I right click, it's going to give me coordinate that we can walk to. Negative 103, negative 38, 303. So if I dig down 10 blocks from there, there should be some diamonds down here. Turns out I have to dig up 10 blocks, not down. And look, there's diamonds. Let's mine the rest of these up. And there we go. We already have all the diamonds we need. So now if we go ahead and open up our menu and click evolution, you're going to notice we can now unlock Fiend. So goodbye, him And hello, Fiend. Look at me. I look so much cooler. I have bone wings. I have like six ears. I'm like Medusa, Cthulhu, and a skeleton combined. And this is only the beginning because now I've gained the ability to not only flap once, but now I can flap twice, meaning I basically get the ability to triple jump.
I'm telling you, these angels do not stand a chance against me. <laughs> well, anyway, now that we got 15 hearts, it's time to start picking another upgrade called Souls of the Dam. Uh, but first, I'm going to do a little mining the rest of the day because luckily with the ore tracker, I can already get diamond armor. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, we got ourselves 28 diamonds. So let's go. Let's make the chest plate. Let's make the leggings and let's make the boots. And now we have a full set of diamond armor. And already on day 12, I already have full diamond armor. Now let's sleep. <laughs> Okay, we have all the undead kills completely finished, which means now we just gotta kill three gas with their own fireballs and we'll be done. That's nameplates. Hey, old hunters are here. One of them's trying to build up. Hit him off, hit him off, hit him off. Okay, I got one down. There's another one over here. Also building up the side. What the f Oh, we killed him in like one hit. Let's go. We're so strong as a fiend. He's trying to break my bed. Oh, he was low. Let's go. He's done for. Okay. Well, since they just came to my base and attacked and wasted my time, now we don't have time to go get the three gas kills today. So we're just going to wait for sunset, go to bed, and tomorrow we'll go get the gas kill. Okay, day 15. Okay, day 15. Let's go kill some gas. Now, where are we going to find some gas? Let's find somewhere nice and open. <laughs> Go! Okay, gas number one's here. I'm so bad at hitting fireballs back. I really hope. Come on, bring it on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, I just missed him. Okay, I missed that one. Okay, great. Now we're on fire. Thank God we're a fireproof devil. Yes, we got one. Let's go. We finally killed one. I was getting so stressed. I couldn't kill one of those things. That's two, baby. Let's go. Yo, why won't this gas shoot, shoot at me? You're literally touching me. Can I punch you? Yeah, now you'll fight me. Yes! Three for three! That gas was dumb. He was a dumb, little dumb boy. Little dumb dumb. Anyway, now that we're done with that, let's go in. Let's go back to the portal. And let's head back to the base. And let's go home. There we go. Oh, the hunter's here. That's why there's TNT. Oh, they're setting it off. They're setting off. We gotta go back through the nether. Oh, man. I can't wait to see the look on Orion's face when he sees it. He's here. Oh, he's here. He's here. Okay, okay. Go, go, go. I'm 90% sure they were about to blow up my base. I'm gonna go through and check and see what's going on. Oh, I see a lot of water. That's not a good sign. Oh, is the whole top of my base destroyed? Oh God, they destroyed everything. I just got attacked. Oh dude, there's nothing left of this base, literally. Oh, I see a hunter. I have to get him down. I don't even see the other one. Okay, there's one up here. Let's get this one. Nice, okay, we killed one of them. Watch this. Hit him down, baby. Let's go, bye-bye. He can't stay underwater forever. Okay, he's actually down in the portal room. He doesn't realize I'm below. He's done, he's done. Oh, 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 no! Yes, victory is mine! Anyway, all we gotta do left is equip the Wither Skeleton Skull, but I kinda gotta make a new base first, so let's do that. Okay, well, my base got destroyed insanely fast. I didn't even really have time to enjoy that base, but whatever. It's time to build a new one, so let's build the Devil Pit 2.0. Okay, welcome to the new base. This is probably, honestly, my most boring base in a while, but I was kinda focused on getting all my stuff since everything I had blew up. Sorry for yelling. Anyway, this base is currently smushed in between two lava waterfalls falls just to make it slightly difficult to get in i do plan on building some sort of redstone entrance eventually but i haven't had time to do it yet so it's not done but regardless of that at least we got a base to get started in because being baseless thing anyway all we gotta do left is get that one wither skeleton skull so let's go to the nether find a fortress and go kill a bunch of them until we get a skull into the portal what is this what is this spawn what is this there we go now we're in the nether okay perfect we found another fortress let's go oh god oh god oh god oh god get away get away get away oh no ah get off me <laughs> okay well that was a dead end let's keep running around we gotta find wither skeletons here we go some wither skeletons let's go boys okay now they're all trapped and no wither skeleton skull i hear another one nearby is he up here oh yeah he is come on down <laughs> Okay, a bunch of wither skeletons down and still no skull to show for it. Let's keep killing. Oh, wait, the stupid mosquitoes are dead. Okay, well, apparently I picked up a wither skeleton skull while fighting all those wither skeletons and mosquitoes, and I didn't even notice. But I got one, and that's all that matters. So to finish out this upgrade, I just gotta put it on my head. That was it, done. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's head home, and we'll do the upgrade tomorrow. So let's unlock the souls upgrade where I can now summon mobs to fight for me. Let me show you. Now, if I go in here, the sun's out, so they're probably gonna die, but you'll see what I mean. What a four skeletons! Or a wither skeleton and a zombie! And my wither skeleton comes with a bow. And they're free XP. But anyway, with that upgrade out of the way, it's now time to work on our next upgrade, Sin Storage. Now, for this upgrade, we need three regeneration potions, three enchanted golden apples, god apples, and three ender chests. Let's go ahead, let's quickly go mine up 24 obsidian, because that's what we're gonna need just to make the ender chest. 
Okay, now that we got a bunch of obsidian, we can go ahead and start working on the ender chest. Now, an ender chest is made with eight obsidian with an eye of ender in the center. And that also means we need three eyes of ender. We need blaze powder and ender pearls. And I know just the place to go get that. My favorite place in the world, the nether. Get it? Because I'm a devil. Okay, that's three blaze rods, which is definitely enough blaze powder. Now let's go to a bastion and get ourselves some ender pearls. Okay, we're at a bastion. Let's just go ahead and get inside. Now, I already grabbed all the gold on this side. I lost it all when my base got blown up, but there should still be gold on this side of the bastion. Okay, let's see if there's any gold blocks in these chests. Nice, we got one right here and another one in this one. We're off to a good start because we only need like three ender pearls. <laughs> Okay, we got some more gold in this chest. No gold blocks, though. Okay, from out here, I can see a bunch of gold blocks. So let's just grab them on the back, and that should definitely be enough to get the ender pearls we need. Nine gold blocks should definitely be enough to do this trade. So let's go drop a couple piglins in a hole, and we'll start doing the trade. Okay, now let's just give these guys our gold real quick, and they should start getting to work, and hopefully we get three ender pearls from this. We definitely should. I definitely just saw some ender pearls come through. How many do we have? There we go, four. Yes, that's all we need. Perfect. Okay, you guys can go in. <laughs> Give me my gold back. Now that we get all the supplies for the Eyes of Ender, let's go ahead and let's go home. Okay, let's go ahead and let's start by making our Eyes of Ender and surround with a bunch of obsidian. And that's gonna give us our three ender chests. And just like that, we got the ender chest done with. Now we still need three god apples and three regen potions, but luckily the regen potions are also pretty easy. Now we have one leftover blaze rod. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get a brewing stand. And we'll just throw that right on top of our crafting table. Now let's take some of our sand and let's get it smelting into bottle. We need a gas tier. When I was killing ghasts earlier, I was already able to get a gas tier. So that part of the regen potions is already done. So all we need to do is make these glass bottles. Let's throw them in our crafting table. Now let's go ahead, let's fill all these things with water. And let's combine them with a nether war. Along with a blaze powder. You've seen me do this a million times. I make awkward potions, I throw the gas here, and I get regen potions done. And there we go. The three potions of regeneration are complete. And now all we need is three god apples and sin storage is ours. Now in the past, you've probably seen me go to desert temples to look for them. <clears throat> Wrong location. You guys told me in the comments I should actually go to deep dark cities as they have a way, way higher percent chance of spawning a god apple. Now this could take a little while. So yeah, let's get to work. It took nearly four days of searching just to find an ancient city. And when I found one, I was going to do everything in my power not to summon a warden. I simply wanted to get some golden apples and flee. Okay, I'm currently following my entity compass and I'm having it track these shulk sensors. I don't see any more shulk this way. So if there's gonna be a city, it's not here. Oh no, there is more. There's, there's more down here. Let's follow this. Oh, there's a ton down here. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is an ancient city. Okay, we found one. Now we just have to see if there's any god apples around. Now I wanna be careful. I really don't wanna summon a warden. Okay, we're in. Now I see two shrieker things. No. Okay, cool. No warden yet. We're all set. But also, no god app. Okay, let's climb up here. There's always chests on top of the towers. Okay, not here. Maybe it's on top. Yep, here's a chest. Let's go. Oh, yes, we got one. Okay, we have one enchanted golden apple. Some skull. Okay, I see another chest that way. Let's go for that one next. There's actually two there. Okay, no warden yet. Oh, this is terrifying. This is a very dangerous area. All I'm trying to do is get to these chests right in here. Are there any other screamy things nearby? Okay, I'm gonna break this one because I think I can get away with that. Nice, we got away with it. Let's open this chest. Okay, no god apple in this one, but we do have some really nice diamond pants. Okay, now let's go check the other one. Oh, it's screaming. Okay, we got two. Oh, that's a warden. Okay, let's just go get more items. We can get it. We can stay away from this thing. We got a good distance. Okay, let's check this chest. We got a god apple. That's all we need. Another chest here. Oh my god, there's another one. Two more. Oh my god. Okay, we definitely have enough now. Now let's go. Let's get out of here before that warden catches up with me. And we're home with the six god apples that we found, which is actually more than enough that we even needed. Let's unlock Sin Storage. Now, Sin Storage is really cool. Let me show you. Basically, whenever I kill a monster, I store their soul in this box and I can take it back whenever I want and heal myself. It's basically like golden apples I can use on the fly. Okay, and with that complete, we can now start looking at our next upgrade, which I want to be Gluttony's Debt. This basically lets me shoot what I call the Devil Laser. It's just a dark beam of energy that does a ton of damage. On top of damage, it also withers them, gives them hunger, and blinds them. So yeah, it's pretty OP. Wait, I see names nearby. Oh, the hunters are here. Oh god, do they see my base? Wait, he may not see our base. Oh no, he does. I'm so confused. Does he see it or not? Hey, I'm gonna try to kill one of the buffalo and get some fur. <laughs> Give me that meat. Uh, Jose? Jose, listen, we, we should really, um, head into the jungle, dude. Why? Uh, I just think we should head into the jungle, my man. Oh, uh, okay. Like, check, check this out. Oh, check out this anthill, dude. Wait, are they leaving? Oh my god, they're leaving. What? The devil, the devil's over there. We're not what? Ready. We're not ready for him yet. Come on, come on, don't look at him, don't look at him. Oh, oh wait, that was a super close call. Okay, let's start working on Gluttony's debt. We gotta kill 50 wither skeletons, gain the glowing effect, and kill five players. Which honestly doesn't sound awful because i think i can just shoot myself with a glowing arrow and i'll start glowing but we'll test that later first things first let's go to the nether and start killing those wither skeletons right now 
Okay, we finished up all the Wither Skeleton kills. Now we're just gonna kill five players and gain the glowing effect. And since I'm already in the nether, let's go ahead, let's get that glowing effect by shooting ourselves with one of our spectral arrows. Now, if I shoot this in the air and hit myself, I should glow. There we go. And look, I got the glowing effect. It actually worked. Oh, that is so stupid. Oh, I actually did that. I'm very happy that that worked. Okay, well, we got the glowing effect done just like that. And now we just need five player kills. But before we do that, I'm gonna get some TNT for reasons I'm not gonna specify. Anyway, let's go home. Okay, it is day 37 and it's time to get our five player kills. Oh, and of, of course, we're gonna take our TNT and go attack their base and totally not blow it up and destroy it because they destroyed my last base. Yeah, let's go. Okay, their base has definitely been upgraded since I've last been here. It is a massive wall. It's now two stories and it has a halo. Okay, we're getting up to their base. They haven't seen me yet. And we need to kill them five times here. Okay, well, one of them breaks sand. This is where we get our first kill. Ready? Oh, he's trying to run. Oh, he's done. Oh, he's done. Yes, that's one kill. Oh, no, two kills. And you weren't looking and you're in trouble. Oh, he's done! And we're in the base! Okay, we just need two more kills. <laughs> nice, yes! Four kills, we really need one more. Let's get this guy. He can't go through, he's trying to go through. No, let me in the nether, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in the nether! I'm bring around the rosy here. No! Dude, I glitched my Minecraft! I'm stuck Bruh. on the terrain. He's done! Yes! Oh no, he killed him! He killed his own teammate, so I couldn't do it! Nice, he's dead! Let's see we got all five kills. Now let's blow their base up. Where are they spawning? Down here? Blow this up and let's... Oh, I can't get out of here. Shield! Okay, we're alive! Yeah, how's that feel? I want you 17 TNT. Let's go get some more of this planted. Let's get up on these walls, up on the tree, and let's get on the base. Wait, what did he splash me with? Holy water? I think he just splashed me with holy water. He keeps getting me with holy water. Oh, that's blue. Oh! Yes, he's done. Let's set up a little more. Now, it looks like their beds are somewhere down here. Oh, and there goes the beds and their base. And we are home. So let's go and let's do the upgrade. And now we have Gluttony's Debt, which is uh, this. So let's try Gluttony's Debt on this bison. Oh, he, it missed. Uh, what about you? See, it blows up. Uh-oh. Oh, he can't move. Oh, yes, he can. Okay, now that we've glutton his debt, let's go ahead and upgrade from a fiend to the general of the underworld. Then we'll lock this. I need 64 obsidian, nine lava buckets, and three ancient debris, which I would almost be done with if they didn't blow up my first base. But anyway, we got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. First, let's go to the nether and use our ore compass to actually locate ancient debris. It's gonna make completing this part way easier. So if I take my ore compass, let's go ahead and let's set it to netherite. Now, if I right click it, you're gonna see it tells me where I can find an ancient debris. So let's head there now. Boom, and there it is. There's the ancient debris right here. Look at that, and we found it. Oh, and there's a second one. Well, there we go. We already got two ancient debris, so we literally just need one more. Okay, there's definitely some near here, and then I just have to go up basically 13 blocks. Oh my God, I can already see it. Let's go. Okay, now that we have the ancient debris, let's go mine some obsidian and get the nine lava buckets. Okay, with all the obsidian in hand, let's go back to the base and quickly grab the nine lava buckets that we're gonna need from the nether. Okay, let's go, let's grab our nine buckets of lava. <laughs> There we go, we got all nine, and we're finding a big bone snake. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay, we got all nine buckets of lava. Let's go ahead, let's go to sleep, and we'll finish the upgrade tomorrow. Day 40, let's become the general of the underworld, and now I'm a general devil. I'm looking pretty cool if you ask me. Now, as a general devil, I am much stronger. I not only have 20 hearts of HP, I get three double jumps, jump boost one, strength two, and speed two. See, I'm a speedy boy. I mean, look at me running with this pitchfork. Anyway, enough fooling around, because right now we get the first three devil upgrades completely complete. The first three combat upgrades completely complete. However, we only have two utility upgrades completed, meaning we need to get one more. So let's get the gift upgrade, which apparently as long as I am on fire, standing in magma or in lava, I gain resistance too. Now, all I need to unlock this is 64 magma blocks, nine buckets of lava and three fire resistance potions. All really easy to be honest. So let's go to another first and quickly grab all the magma we're gonna need. 
there we go. We got 64 magma. Now we just need the nine lava buckets and the fire resistance potion, which neither should be too hard. Okay, it is day 42, and we got all the magma blocks we need, but I also went ahead and grabbed a few extra, and the reason I did that is because I actually want to start replacing our floor with magma, because I basically had this realization. I can step on magma and not burn, and hunters can't. So let's go and let's just replace the floor with magma. Oh, no. No, no. I see hunters nameplate. No, I see a name. Not the time. Okay, hold on, hold on. If I put magma down, they have to step on it, right? I'm trying to come in the window. They're gonna have to come through this. They're breaking in from the sides. I don't even know where they're coming from. I got more magma down. Oh, is that TNT? Oh God, this may not work. Okay, he didn't get in, he didn't get in. Oh my stuff! Okay, I grabbed what I could. I don't want cobblestone. Shield. Oh, they're coming quick! Grab as much stuff as I can! Was that on me? Oh no, it's gonna blow up the stuff. No! Nice, I got one of them. Oh, he's taking a bunch of my stuff. Okay, he's done. Okay, okay, they're dead. They're dead. Is there anything important left? Okay, well, I've grabbed pretty much everything I can recover from this base that I can hold in my inventory. So we're just gonna take this stuff and uh, we're gonna go have to build a new base. Once again, it's time to move to a new base. This time, it'll be a base that takes full advantage of all of my devil powers. It has a magma floor for protection, a lava entrance only I can go through, and a secret escape route just in case. And welcome to the devil base 3.0. This time, the floor is literally lava. Send me a video on Twitter of you playing the floor is lava. One lucky person who does it will win an Amazon gift card. Make sure to send it to me on Twitter at Ragai Rocky. Anywho, the base looks pretty normal, but there's actually something really cool about it. I actually built an upstairs as well if we swim up these lavas. Now, I haven't done anything with it yet, and I was thinking about making this the real base up here in the fake base below, but right now, I just built an exit that goes ahead and exits out this way if we just break these blocks. Okay, but now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and let's finish up the gift upgrade. Now, we already have 64 magma blocks, so we just need nine lava buckets and three fire resistance potions. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's go get some magma cream so we can make the fire resistance potion and then we'll also fill up our lava buckets okay let's grab our nine lava and there we go. We got all the lava buckets. Now let's go get some magma cream and another blaze rod. There we go. Blaze rods check. Now let's go get some magma cream. Oh wait, there's magma creams in this chest. I don't even need you guys. Hey, you guys can go away now. Might as well take these gold blocks while we're here. Nice, and there we go. That should be everything we need. There we go, and now we have our three fire resistance potions. And if we take a peek at the upgrade, we'll see we have the magma blocks, we have the fire resistance potions, and we have the lava bucket, meaning we can go ahead and unlock this upgrade. And you'll notice because we're standing on our magma floor, we have permanent resistance too. Okay, and now it's day 50. There's only 50 days more to go, and we're honestly doing pretty dang good. But we're still not strong enough to take on someone with netherite armor, which means we're not strong strong enough. So let's get hellfire arrows. Now to unlock them, I need to kill skeletons with an arrow on fire once, enchant a bow with a max level enchantment, and ignite 32 TNT. Let's start by enchanting a bow to level 30 and killing a skeleton with a fire arrow. Let's get a level 30 enchantment on it, and we already have the first part of the quest complete. Now we're gonna do the easy one, which is kill skeletons with a fire arrow. Oh, I did it. Yes, I killed him. Now we just gotta ignite 32 TNT. Okay, so to blow up 32 TNT, we have to first make 32 TNT. And if you do the math, 32 times five is uh on the screen right now because I can't do math. Let's exit the base because we need to go get sand for the 32 TNT that we have to blow up. There we go, that's all the sand we need. Now we just have to go down to some caves and kill creepers till we get enough gunpowder. Okay, we got all the gunpowder we need to combine with the sand. So let's go back to the base. Let's make that TNT and let's set it off. Okay, let's set the TNT off here. So for each one I ignite, it actually counts as one. But if a TNT sets off another TNT, it's not gonna count. So I'm gonna do this individually. There we go, that's seven TNT. And there we go, that's all 32 TNT lit off. Anyway, we're done with this upgrade, so let's go ahead, let's unlock it. We know of the exploding arrows. Let's try it out. So if I take these three basic arrows in my inventory and I hit a special button, you're gonna see two of the arrows disappear and turned into hellfire arrows. Now if I take my bow and shoot it, they explode and cause fire where I shoot. By the way, you're also gonna notice I now have 30 hearts. That's because I just used all my sins to give myself 10 extra hearts. Okay, it is time to go from a general to a fallen angel, which is our next devil upgrade. I need six strength potions, six speed potions, six jump potions, six instant damage potions, six regeneration potions, and six fire resistance potions. And oh my God, I'm struggling to breathe. We already have the nether warts we need, so we're just getting magma cream and gas tears. Okay, let's start by getting some blaze rods okay we got eight blaze rods that is definitely more than enough so let's go ahead and now get some magma cream okay we got ourselves three magma creams which is definitely all we're gonna need so finally let's just go get two gas tiers okay we got a gas let's shoot them yes we got one second guest down and we got a gas tier two for two baby let's go we got all the stuff from the nether now let's go home now we just need to go get sugar a glistening melon and two rabbit's feet we'll be all set to finish up these potions and become a fallen angel okay let's grab some sugar cane that's all we're gonna need for that okay i got a bunch of melon seeds we'll bring those home 
so we can grow them. And that way we can get the melon and the glistening melon tomorrow. And now all we need to do is quickly head back to the desert, find some rabbits, and get a rabbit's foot. Rabbit's foot, I see one. There we go, we finally got one. Let's go. Now we can go home because we have all the ingredients. Let's get to work on actually putting together these potions. So let's add nether warts to all of these potions. And that's gonna make our first nine sets of awkward potions. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a sugar to this one and to this one. And then we're gonna add the extra blaze powder to this one. That's gonna make six speed potions and three strength potions. Okay, now let's refill these one more time and put three new bottles in on each. Now let's go ahead and add one of the rabbit's feet. And let's grab our other rabbit's foot from our chest from earlier. And let's put that in the second one. Now we've completed all our strength potions, speed potions, and jump potions. Meaning we just need instant health, regeneration, and fire resistance. So let's grab our magma creams, and let's put one magma cream in here. That'll make the six fire resistance potions. And then we're gonna put a gas tier in this final slot, and that's gonna go ahead and make regeneration potions. Now we just need two glistening melons. So let's go check on the melons and see if they grew. Okay, it looks like we do have some melons that grew, and we have two full melons at the minute. Anyway, that gives us 10 melons, which is all we need. So let's quickly go back to the base and combine these with some gold nuggets. Let's take two of our melons and completely surround them in gold and nuggets. That's going to give us two glistening melons, which is all we need to wrap up these potions. There we go. Potions of regeneration done. And then once this is done over here, we're also going to add a glistening melon to this batch and it will get us three potions of healing. And they're done. Okay, my whole inventory is literally full of potions. Let's do this. From a general to a fallen angel. I'm like an angel with black wings. With this upgrade complete, we'll go ahead and wake up tomorrow and start working on our next upgrade. Okay, it's now time to work on our next upgrade, unholy water. But it's going to require a dragon's head and a dragon dragon's breath, meaning we gotta go to the end. Let's head back to the nether, let's get some more blaze rods, then go to a bastion for ender pearls, and then to the end. Okay, here's blaze number one, dead. Blaze number two, dead. There's three. Okay, that is nine total blaze rods, which is all we need. Now let's go find a fresh bastion, get a bunch of gold, and trade it with the piglins. Okay, I found a fresh bastion. Take the gold block, and they're gonna be really angry, that's okay. Now let's go in here and see if there's any gold blocks in here. Well, there we go. 18 blocks of gold. That is definitely all the gold we're going to need. So let's go trade. Okay, let's throw the piglins our gold and see how many enderpearls we can get. Okay, perfect. We have 16 enderpearls, which is all we're going to need. So let's kill all. How many are in there now? There's a bunch in there. Okay, let's just kill them all off. Okay, with that, we have all the enderpearls and blaze rods we need, meaning we can start heading to the end. Okay, so it is day 58 and we are making some great time. And now we have 17 eyes of ender to help get us to the end portal. But before I go, let's see if we can quickly enchant our demon pitchfork. So if I grab the lapis and throw it in, you're going to see I can actually give it sharpness. So now my Pitchfork has looting two and sharpness three on it. So let's go find the end portal. Okay, let's take an iron vendor and throw it from here. And it's going that way. So uh, let's go that way too. Oh, back this way. Wait, what? Oh, we're right on top of it. It's right below us. If we dig straight down, we're going to get to this thing. And there we go. We're in. Okay, now we just got to go ahead and quickly find the portal. Oh, I found the portal. And there we go. Now we can go fight the dragon. Okay, we're in. And luckily, I can just fly over. So let's start by getting to the tallest obsidian tower and climbing it. Let's go. Okay, all the health things are gone. We just need to kill this guy. And he's dead. Let's go. Okay, now let's grab a few dragon's breath. Okay, perfect. And with the dragon dead, and we have all 16 dragon's breath on us. Wait, whoa, whoa. Hunters, they're probably here for the egg. Oh, I'm trapped. I can't break it. I got the egg. I got the egg. No, he's taking the egg. Oh, it's gone. It's broken. Don't get in the portal. Don't get in the portal. No, I got to go after him. I got to go after him. Okay, well, the portal just brought me back to my base. How am I supposed to get the egg back? Okay, we got to go look for their base to get that egg back ASAP. Finding the angel's base turned out to be way harder than I thought, but I finally found it on day 63. Okay, I think I finally found their base. That is, oh, I know. I see him. I literally see him. And I have the ultimate way to get my egg back. See, luckily I have hellfire arrows and I'm about to blow up their base. Oh yeah, he sees me. Oh, the demon's coming. Okay, I blew a hole in the roof. Let's go in. Oh, oh, oh. Chest. Wait. Yoink. Dude, yes, I got the dragon egg. We already got the dragon egg. I need to get out of here. Oh, that hurts. Wait, why can't I put out the fire? Oh, okay, one of them's done. Oh, ho, ho. I'm almost dead. I gotta go. We got the egg back. That's the important part. Okay, well, that was really, really annoying to get that egg back, but I'm glad we did. And these hellfire arrows are way more broken than I realized. Anyway, I'm gonna hold on to the egg because I don't want them to come back and take it. Well, let's go and let's look at unholy water. We have the 16 dragon's breath, and all we need is 16 fermented spider eyes and a dragon head, which we can only get from the outer end. So let's go kill some spiders because I need fermented spider eyes, and then we're gonna head to the outer end so we can get a dragon head. Okay, let's grab some sugar cane. Let's grab all this as well. 43 sugar cane just like that and that is definitely all we need now let's grab some brown mushrooms by breaking this giant brown mushroom down and there we go now we have all the brown mushrooms we need so now we just need some spider eyes so let's go grab those 
Okay, and that's 22 spider eyes. Now we have everything we need for all the fermented spider eyes. Let's get them quickly crafted up. We combine the spider eyes, the sugar, and the brown mushrooms. And now we have all the fermented spider eyes we need. Meaning all we need left is a dragon's head to finish up the unholy water upgrade. So let's head back to that end portal. Okay, we went through the portal. Look, we already found an end city. Does it have a ship? No, it does not. It does not have a ship. Okay, well, this end city was unfortunately useless. So let's just keep going from end city to end city, getting as many shulkers as we can, and hopefully finding a dragon head soon. I spend the next couple of days just looking for an end city with an elytra ship. Now, I needed two elytra, and I couldn't even find one. Okay, we found an end ship. Let's go. I've already got a ton of shulker shells, so all I need is the dragon head and one of the pairs of elytra from this ship. Now, we need two elytra, so we're gonna have to find another one, but at least we found one. Okay, let's grab the shulker. The shulker. Huh? Grab some of the stuff from the chest. Now, let's go find a second end city. Luckily, with the first pair of elytra in hand, finding the second pair was much easier. Okay, we're currently at a second elytra ship, but this one I can't reach, and the shulker isn't shooting at me. So, I'm gonna go put five per per block on the ground and I should be able to use my elytra to simply glide over to that ship. Oh yeah, we're in. And now we have the second pair of elytra. Okay, now let's just grab this dragon's head, which is right here. We now have the dragon's head and two pairs of elytra, which is exactly what we needed from the end. So we can simply fly back to a portal and head on home. Okay, so we got all the stuff we need in the end. Now, if we look at our upgrades, you're gonna see we can unlock unholy water. So let's do that. And unholy water allows us to convert water bottles into unholy water bottles. And you'll see if I throw one, it doesn't really do anything. But if I throw it on myself, you'll see I start to heal. But if I throw it on an angel, they're gonna take an absolute boatload of damage, poison, blindness, you name it, they got it. Anyway, we only have three more upgrades to go till we're fully done. We have the King Devil upgrade, which we just need three nether stars for. We also have the last combat upgrade. I just need to kill one wither, kill one warden, and kill the players 10 times to finish up that one. To finish up the last utility upgrade, I also need three nether stars. I need three wither skeleton skulls, and I need 128 soul sand. So I basically got to kill a ton of withers here. In fact, we need to kill six withers in all, which is a total of 18 wither skulls, plus I need an extra three, meaning 21 wither skeleton skulls. This is going to take a while. Okay, I just saw some more wither skeletons over here. Let's kill them next. There's got to be demons around here, partner. Oh, and I think we just found one. No, don't you fall. Don't you fall. Oh, the hunter's here. Okay, I shot him with some hellfire arrows. I only have 26 left. There he goes. Okay, unicorn's down. I just saw him burn over there. He turned invisible. Oh, he fell. I'm out. No! Well, that was a stupid attack. That didn't work at all. Anyway, let's go back to killing wither skeletons. Okay, we officially have all 21 wither skeleton skulls that we need. Now we just need to grab some soul sand really fast, and then we can go back home and start fighting some withers. Okay, now that we have everything we need to fight these withers, we're gonna go ahead and go to sleep and fight them all tomorrow, summoning them all one at a time, and hopefully getting six nether stars. Okay, let's start by summoning the wither just over here. There we go, wither one is summoned, let's go! Yeah, wither's down, let's go! Okay, let's go, let's pick up the nether star. Now we just need a bunch more of those. Okay, time to fight wither number two, let's go! Two withers down. There we go. Three withers down. Four withers down. Let's go. Let's go. Another wither down. There we go. The last withers down. We have six nether stars, which is all we need. So let's go home and organize what we're doing next. Okay, it's day 77. Let's do that upgrade. And then we're going to go grab some soul sand. Okay, it is time to turn from a fallen angel into the king of the devils. Look at me. Oh my God. Giant red devil wings, giant red muscles. I'm huge. And I even have a devil spell on my head. We officially have completed all our devil evolutions, meaning there's only two more slots to go. The combat upgrades and the utility upgrades. We need to kill players nine times and get a warden kill and we need some soul sand so let's go get the soul sand first because then we can just finish up that upgrade all together okay i don't fit in my base so i just took out the whole second floor because i wasn't really using it anyway and then i realized i did all that for nothing because i don't even fit in my nether portal so i need to just go grab a few more obsidian so i can make this thing like two blocks taller okay here's my super tall nether portal to go grab some more soul sand Perfect, we have all the soul sand we need. So now we can unlock fiendish protection, which allows us to summon a tiny wither that is gonna fight for us and protect us. And there he is, look at him, he's so Aww. cute. He's a tiny little wither. Oh my God, he's attacking everything. Oh God. Okay, welcome home. We only have one more upgrade to do, and that's to finish up Pillar of Sulfur and Sun. And I really just need to kill a Warden and the players nine times, which none of those are that hard. So let's start by killing a Warden, because with this form, I think killing a Warden should be completely doable. Okay, we got to find the Warden in this ancient city. Let's fight the Warden. Where'd he spawn? 
Oh, I killed a warden. Oh my God, that's the first warden I've ever killed. Anyway, now that we uh, finished off a warden, we just need those player kills. So let's go back to the base and we'll worry about getting those tomorrow. Day 79. I just need to go ahead and kill a bunch of angels and we'll be good to go. So let's go pay them a visit, shall we? Okay, I have found the hunter's base. It is literally just up ahead. Let's get in this tree right here. And now we can just jump in their base. Oh my God, it's Satan. Come on, we got like strength a billion. Oh, MLG bucket. Ah, I survived, loser. Oh no! He's gotta be almost dead. Nice, we got one. I saw the other one fly right by. Okay, we're on top of their base. We can start getting these kills now. Oh yes, that counted. Oh no. Let's go, that's four. He's done, see you later. We're up to eight total player kills. Let's just keep murdering them. And there we go! 10 out of 10 players killed! Oh, and there goes another. You know what? I'm gonna take that chance to just go ahead and skedaddle because now we can get fully upgraded and then we're gonna go finish off the last 15 or so days by having a ton of fun. Okay, it is officially day 80 and I just realized that my pitchfork that was massive at the beginning now looks like a tiny little fork. Anyway, let's unlock the last upgrade which is gonna allow us to spawn a massive firestorm that catches everything on fire. Let me show you. You can't even see it. It's so big you can't even see it. Look at it. Let's go ahead. Let's go back to their base and let's crush them again and use our brand new ability on them, shall we? Okay, I'm back at the base, but it looks like they moved because of all the damage I did. You'll see if I use my ability here, it actually turns a bunch of the water into obsidian, lava, and magma. So yeah, you do not want to be inside this circle. Anyway, they clearly have a new base, so let's go find that and let's go kill them. With the angel's base abandoned, I knew they had to have another one not too far away. And it turns out I was definitely correct. Okay, I have found their final base. Oh, he sees me already. He knows that what I'm coming in for. Let's do this. I I currently have unholy water in my hand. So let's try this because I haven't gotten to use this on them yet. Oh, it lit them on fire. Look at that. Now, if I try and use my mini wither, attack mini wither. Oh, it's a wither. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Dude, they do not stand a chance. Look at this. There we go. I locked one in. It's just watching us. Ah. Oh, that didn't feel good. Look at all the lava and fire. Oh, this is not good for you guys. Oh, let's trap him. Get him, mini wither. Get him. Oh, they trapped me in this box. Okay, well, they fight the mini wither. I guess I just got to sit in a box for a sec. Oh, that shot! Let's go! He's toast! Let's move into the base. Destroy their little entrance here so I can actually get in without stepping through cobwebs. I'm in position. Let me know when, when I gotta do it. I'm bringing him here. He sees me. Oh, you're running, dude. You can't get away. Oh, they have a whole base down here. Okay, we gotta get down there. The problem is if I get down there, I might be stuck. Oh, no, I can jump out. I have flight. No! no! Okay. <laughs> He's stuck! He's stuck! He can't move! <laughs> Just hold shield. Ooh! Oh, that's half my heart. Okay, get him. Get him with the grenades. Get him with the grenades. Oh, God. Oh, God. Eat, 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 eat. I can't eat. I can't eat. Oh, God. I gotta get out of here. Fly, 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 fly. No! Oh, my God. I just lost. I lost. Angels win. We won. <laughs> I lost. What? We finally did it. Angels I... for the win, baby. What? How did you kill the top level devil? Wait, what? With the, with the power of, of angels and, and God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you heard it here. I lost. Angels have officially beaten the devil, and well, there's not much else I can say. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>